Drew. Drew, Kevin Collins. Kevin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Mike and Ty. Okay. You've got, uh, if you want to put your backpack and your camo and stuff in the box. Okay, that's my beard. That's yeah. that, 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 that. <laughs> It's been a dream. I mean, I, I, and uh, I've uh, had a great trip out here. Well, I you get yourself organized. You uh, said we don't need to shoot, right? No, or do no. Okay, so no, I, 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 do you have a bipod that I got or no? I got it. Shooting sticks. Shooting sticks, okay. This week is third rifle season in Colorado. The elk herd together and fill the open meadows in the valley. It's going to be tough to fool all the noses and eyeballs. But with the rifle, we have an advantage this week. I'll be personally guiding Kevin for his first elk hunt. I'm excited to work towards getting him his first bull. Also joining us in camp this week is Chris, a lucky winner from the Big R Elk Hunt giveaway. Okay, very good. All right, well, let's get right. a look. This is my man right here, Freddie Hartice. Great to meet Freddie, you, buddy. How are yeah, you? It's a pleasure. Good to have you. Yeah, you're good yeah. to be here. Yeah. Coogee yeah. knows a ranch like the back of his hand. So we're going to put Chris with him to increase his chances. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, they told me on that giveaway, 1.1 million impressions. That made wow. people hit, hit that up for that giveaway. How many? 1.1 million. <laughs> So you're a lucky man. Gee, you're a lucky man. Wow. It's like yeah. big, uh, it was a big deal on these. And then I thought it was a joke. They kept, I had these emails and uh, so finally I drove down to Big R and I'm talking to the guy behind the gun counter and he says, no, it's, it's real. He says, he says uh, you know, I, I hope some lucky wins it. And I says, well, I think maybe I did. Tonight's dinner, we've got some dry-aged sirloin steaks. Everybody said kind of medium to medium well, so that's where everything should be. I do have a couple that are more medium rare in the back if anybody would like something like that. Um, we've got some fresh green beans, some potatoes, and some salad with dressing up here also, and some homemade garlic bread. Um, I'll let you guys get to dinner, and we'll kind of go over some camp rules and things like that and just hear it a little bit, okay? okay yeah, we're eating dinner now, buddy. Right? Come on. We're going to be very careful. Um, their elk are here, there's a lot of elk around. Uh, last year, we actually killed the biggest bull of the season this week, third week rifle. And so we just never know what's gonna be around. A couple of safety things, we the guns are always unloaded, whether you're in a vehicle, a buggy, um, they're fully unloaded out of the magazine, out of the chamber. Um, and we typically will have you load them in the, in the magazine when we're walking. We never walk with around in the chamber, just for everybody's safety. There's no reason to. We're not jumping elk, we're not shooting or running elk. And so when, when we get on the elk and we see the elk, we'll talk about it, you and your guide. It's time to put around the chamber. Let's get ready. Let's get something killed. Uh, your guide will carry shooting sticks. Again, we always want to try to get you laying down prone. We want to get you on a backpack. Uh, there may be an occasion to shoot off of sticks, but we're going to do the best we can to get you in the right position to kill an elk. Well, so now I'm officially retired, and this was on my bucket list. The day after I sold the dealership, so Freddie, I said, hey, here's my story, dude. I want to come out here and hunt on you. And here I am. This is, this is it. This is the fruition of what I wanted to do. Got a few inches of snow, that'll be a good thing. It'll get it moving. We'll, we'll actually have a lot more out coming out of that high country. Uh, Especially because we got the temp down too. Temp came with it. Yeah. Ready? Get I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. Nothing in it? Nothing in it. Okay, you got ammo with you? Yeah, you got the ammo here plus three in my pocket. And you have uh, your license? Yes, sir. Good boy. 
I listen well. You're a good man. Let's do it. <laughs> the elk typically feed through the evening and night. They will come through the yard at times, so we have to be careful using vehicles around the lodge in the morning. Today, they don't appear to be anywhere close to the lodge. So we're heading down the road a bit. Kevin has never killed an elk, so the main focus is going to be to find him a bull in a position where we can comfortably get him set up for a good shot. Side. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, send it. Under. I split my head open. Thought about it on the first shot. Mm -hmm. I had I was back where I needed to be. This time when we got here, when he started to get up, is when I got it back on him. And he got too close to the scope. My bad. visit HarticeRanch.com. Uh, what I was dreamt of for years. Awesome. It was on the bucket list. Yep. Like one more off. That's excellent. Good deal. Good right. deal. Congratulations. Thank you. you worked for it. With the snow, it's so loud and crunchy. Yeah. And for us to yeah. be able to get 150 yards from him yeah. was pretty awesome. Yeah. And this baby's going to be in my log cabin. Excellent. Right above, right? I got a V shape looking out the yeah. back yeah. with an open space. He's Good going right deal. there. Excellent. 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 Wow. Good stuff. You know what do I, I, like, I think I like the most? Is I see a trail right down that way, and I don't think the drag's going to be very far. No. 
Oh, yeah, we'll get the truck right to him for sure. Good, yeah. good deal. Harvesting such a large animal can be a daunting challenge, especially when it comes to the process after the trigger is pulled. I'm thankful that this team all comes together to speed up the process. We're going to be back on the hunt in no time. Mm. I've skinned a lot of deer, but never know. Same thing, just a little larger. Yeah. No, I got my Wyoming saw. No, I got my Wyoming saw. I got my Remington. Ty, you'll learn. Hunting knife has got a uh, oh, I'm a big man. Holy crap. Got you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to go. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Now that Kevin has filled his tag, I'm joining Coogee and Chris for the morning hunt. Today's the day. And if you like it or not, today's the day. We're doing it. We got a bunch of winners here. Now, let's win. Let's win. Alright, today's the day. It's nine in. The fat lady's just starting to practice. Little <laughs> horse. Bellowing. They're all right here laying down in the middle. There's a pile of them. Wow, there's a bunch of them. A larger elk herd in the area has moved into the Hartes Range. Okay, wind's going that way. Yeah, long, you know see, the I mean? thing is, worst case scenario, if we can't get out, because I don't want to bump them up in there and then they, you don't know where they go. If they, if we can't get out, there's a great, chance they're all going to dump right back into that middle right there early afternoon and we'll be sitting there waiting for them you know look all their tracks came up yeah they all came freaking up through here so that must be the group from bar nothing they are moving quick to bed near the lodge so we are backing out to wait until the afternoon for the best opportunity. And uh, there's still cow calling and bugling up in there. That's crazy. But what a difference a day makes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, getting fired up, Chris? Yeah, I've never seen that many elk. It's kind of like driving through Estes Park. Unbelievable, huh? I mean, what a difference just one day. You know, we're struggling. We get on some elk last night. It, this weather, it takes a couple days for these elk to kind of cycle and get back to their normal routines. But that herd just moved in and they either came from the high country or came from the north. And uh, man, it's so cool to know rolling in this last evening, oh, we got yeah. two, three hundred elk oh, right out in front of us. So exactly. should be good. <laughs> There's got to be some good sized bulls in that herd. And I'd, I'd have you go in on the back side of those trees like almost near the road, you know, mm -hmm. on this side of the gate, and work your way out to that middle, and then work your way up to that bank and try to get yourself set up in there so you can shoot that whole thing. Okay. Um, and then you're going to sit Big Fred's yeah. low below there and get out there and see where it is and then make a decision. Call me if you need me, but... I'm going to get my phone, and then I'm going to just go to Sam right here, right, and walk through them trees yeah. and get to the edge if the wind's right. Yeah.
Just a few more mature cows catch any movement or scent, they will lead the entire herd away. And that's what happens before Chris was able to get a shot at the bull. Freddy feels like the elk are all above us still. So we're, what we're gonna do is go back. We got another road that sneaks through the timber. We're gonna drive so far, then we're just gonna sneak, 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 okay? Walk real slow and glass and glass because we gotta find him before he finds us. So that's what we're gonna do. Kuji almost got Chris a second opportunity for the afternoon, but the bulls must have been ahead of all these cows. Big Fred Blind is nearby, so the boys sit there until dark. There's been ups and downs this week, but ultimately the takeaway from the week is that everyone learned and had fun together, creating real memories and friendships.